my oh my my oh my And so I did What all of those images have in common is they're all make-believe. All of those moving images of women were uh, generated by artificial intelligence. And the reason I put that up is because I had an experience this past week that I thought might be relevant to, to my YouTube audience. So I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. I like to write, I'm a, I'm a writer, and, and I've, uh, I've been doing that a long time, and I'm starting to have a little success on X, the former Twitter. My profile is building nicely, I'm monetized there, and I put up these videos that I make here on YouTube on, on X as well. But I also put up photographs and my, my written stuff, my written content, which uh, I really like to do. It's something I've been doing since I'm a young man and it's something that I enjoy. And what I decided to do is a topic that comes up all the time on, on X is the topic of artificial intelligence. And I didn't think that was really relevant to my YouTube audience, but it's, it's, it's was my focus for, for for the essays and the, and the articles that I'm writing on X. I've been studying a lot about AI and going down that rabbit hole, and, and I actually wrote an essay that I put up yesterday. But what happened was I went out to lunch with um, my friend Marcus and, and Andy, two old friends that I've known here for eight years in Thailand and uh, we went to a very nice French restaurant by Siloam Road and we were sitting and we were all chatting and I brought up the topic of, of artificial intelligence to my, uh, uh, to my friend Andy who was a very successful entrepreneur. He's a hard working guy. It's good to see him. I don't get to see him very often because he's always working. He's very, very tech savvy and I learned something new about him at lunch because when I brought up AI, all of a sudden he like lit up and he says, you know, he started talking about porn. And what he said, he showed me a picture, uh, one, of, one of the uh, pictures that was in that montage at the beginning of the video, is actually a, a, a real person, a, a, a Dutch football player named Daniela van der Donk. And she has this very popular photograph, it's a digitally enhanced photograph of her wearing a pirate costume. And somebody took that photograph and Applied auto uh, applied AI movement to to that photograph, and what Andy did, he says, imagine if you would, if you had a VR headset on, you know, a really high fidelity 3D virtual reality headset, and that image was coming toward you, and it was coming closer and closer, and it came up right close to your face cheek to cheek and whispered in your ear, I'm here for you, Andy, for whatever you want. Well, crack me up. And Marcus jumped in right away. And his first thing was, that's gonna put a lot of the sex bots in the Philippines out of business. <laughs> I don't know why he went down that road, but what happened in that moment is connected together something that I was doing on X that I thought I could make a video about here for my YouTube audience because, you know, the, 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 it's, it, this is more, you know, when we're talking about the Philippines and, you know, that, that kind of thing is more relevant to my audience here. Now, Marcus had a point, but guess what? AI is not anywhere near that. And there's a lot of problems with that. And one of the things that Andy couldn't solve for me is, the, you know, the, the physical reality of, of, you know, what comes after the imagery. You know, it's like, then what? I, I don't think the sex bots in the Philippines have anything to worry about just yet, because I have done a lot of study in AI. And what they don't have is they don't have data for haptic data, it's called, and that's really your, your sensory experience. We have a sensory experience as human beings and what, what artificial intelligence does or machine learning, that's also what it calls, it goes out and it collects lots and lots and lots of information or data and it 
combines that together in a understandable format. Now, they're doing some remarkable stuff around imagery. I use it. I use uh, I, I use uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop uh, for to uh, as a matter of fact that created the thumbnail and the thumbnail for this video. You know the the, the robot is obviously uh, artificially created, but also in that thumbnail the. The woman is artificially created, and the beach is. I'm the only the part. I'm the only thing in that uh, that thumbnail that's a real image. Everything else was created by artificial intelligence. And here's the thing: when I asked the Adobe software to give me a girl in a bikini, it wouldn't do that. It gave me a, a warning. Uh, then I said, oh, "How about a girl in a bathing suit?" It wouldn't do that either. So you know the established. Uh, you know, the recently established artificial intelligence image generators are all being controlled by church lady nanny bots right now. And the stuff is so complicated, people that might take and do the porn type of stuff that Andy wants to see happen, you know, they don't have access to something that would create porn-like imagery yet. So, you know, what you are getting, the, you know, the, my thumbnail image is about as sexy as you're going to get right now. From the uh, from the big players in in AI image generation, so like I said, the the the, the Filipino sex bots are are safe for a while. <laughs> when I say Filipino sex bots, I mean the the, uh, the many 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 uh, uh, women in the Philippines that are uh, you know men my age that are on any social media have probably been approached by them. They try to get your attention on social media and get you to go down different roads. I know a young guy that's actually making a lot of money out of that. He has, uh, as a matter of fact, he uses, he has about 12 Filipino, Filipinas that work for him and they go out fishing on social media trying to get, you know, guys like me to click on, you know, whatever they send them, a picture and a hello and hi, or they talk about different things and they try to be casual to draw you into conversations. And then if they can get like a romantic, online romantic thing going with you, what this young guy that I know does is he directs them to an OnlyFans account and that's what, how they make their money. So they have these, these Filipino sex bots, I'm calling them not really bots, but the colloquialism, these Filipino sex bots, you know, directing people to OnlyFans. There's also many, many people that, you know, go online and have real relationships. They have real, you know, distance kind of relationships and eventually go to the Philippines or other places, but I, I, I know about the Philippines. They go to the Philippines and they, they meet those people in person and some of them have relationships that work and a lot of them have relationships that don't work. You always hear the stories about the ones that don't. You know, there are a lot of scammers out there and I guess that's the lesson to be had for my audience here is if you're into that kind of thing, good luck, be wary of scammers. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. But yeah, um, I am continuing my studies in artificial intelligence as a writer, I'm not a I have done some programming in my past and I'm good at math, so I hope to learn enough about it that I can go a little bit beyond the conceptual uh, stuff of AI uh, so I could be a good writer and, and inform my, my readers uh, of what's going on in that field. This particular topic converted to a video, I think, I hope, I don't know, when I sit down and edit all this, we'll see how it works. But, you know, if, if you're seeing me now, then I decided that, yeah, it is a good enough video for my YouTube audience. And anything that I, that comes out of that world, you know, that, that, that stuff, that content creation that I'm doing on X, if, it, if it's something that I had adapt to a video, I'll put it up here as well. Uh, you'll probably hear me talking more and more about AI because I'm spending a lot of time learning about it. And it is an interesting feel and it applies to a lot, a lot of things. Um, and, uh, you know, but when I, you know, went down this road, it was just, you know, three guys, three old expats hanging out in a restaurant laughing and having a good time. You know, we weren't really that serious about the whole thing, but I took it as a, as a, uh, you know, as a cue, as a, as a something to uh, make a video about uh, because I thought it might be relevant for all of you, and uh, yeah, so if you're still here listening to me ramble on, thanks, and I'll, I'll see you. My, oh, my. My, oh, my. A kiss, and so I did.